The tools list here on the right side of the window will be what you use to make changes to your Pixelmator Pro documents. With tools we can do anything from adjust opacity, transform, rotate, paint, erase, make selections, adjust colors, edit text, and more. As I mentioned before, tools can be accessed from this list or from up in the Tools menu. But most often, as you learn them, you might use the shortcut keys. For instance, S jumps us into the Style tool, A to the Color Adjustments tool, and V back to the Arrange tool that lets us move layers. Many tools will have a selection of presets which are displayed to the left of the tool options. Here in the Style tool, if I have the Ellipse layer selected, I can quickly apply one of the preset styles available here. Just click to apply. Presets are just a combination of the settings available in that tool's options. So this blue style that I have applied to the ellipse contains a stroke, a fill, two inner shadows, and a standard shadow. Any of these can be hidden by unchecking the box next to the option's name. If I hide the fill, the ellipse is now just the stroke, or outline. Click the down arrow next to each option, and it can be reset to its default or removed completely. In tools like Style and Color Adjustments, we can add options to a preset or to the original layer. So if I select the Sign layer and switch to the Color Adjustment tool, I can add or remove individual adjustments from this list. Click Reset Adjustment to remove any changes that I've made with this tool. If I select a preset, the options included in the preset are added just like in the Style menu. Presets can be hidden using the View menu, which can give you more room for your image. We also can hide the tool options, which will just leave the buttons for each tool. For a lot of tools, hiding the options is going to make it hard to use. What I think is preferable is using Command T to hide the tools altogether. This is the best option to open up more space for the image. And it's quick and easy to get back to viewing the full tool options and presets. We're going to spend much of the rest of this tutorial going through each tool individually to see how it works and what it can do. During that, we'll learn more about how to utilize presets as well as layers.